Let's read Butterfly Garden. It's a Robin Hill school book. Look at that. Mrs. Connor held up a package. Who can guess what is in here, she asked. The first graders did not know. I will give you a hint, said Mrs. Connor. It is something that changes from one thing to another. Is it a monster? asked Egan. Is it a superhero? asked Michael. It is not a monster or a superhero, said Mrs. Connor. Hmm. She opened the package carefully. Inside there were five tiny bugs. Caterpillars! yelled the first graders. We are going to learn about butterflies, said Mrs. Connor. Then why are we looking at caterpillars, asked Emma. Oh, do you know why? Look up here. Mm -hmm. Caterpillars turn into butterflies, said Hannah. This shows how they do it, said Mrs. Connor. Life cycle of the butterfly. Egg, caterpillar, chrysalis, butterfly. At first, the caterpillars did not move much. Are they asleep? asked Katie. Are they dead? asked Jamie. No, said Mrs. Connor. They are working hard. After a few days, they got bigger and bigger and bigger. After a week, the caterpillars climbed to the top of the jar. They are hanging upside down, said Katie. The next day, Mrs. Connor said, Look, they covered themselves up so they can grow wings. Mrs. Connor moved them carefully into the butterfly garden. The first graders waited for 11 more days. They are getting darker, said Egan. On the 12th day, Mrs. Connor said, Class, come quickly. The whole class gathered around the butterfly garden. Look, said Nick. Something is coming out, said Nia. It is a butterfly, said Egan. See it? See it right there? The butterflies carefully opened up their wings. Why are they so small, asked Emma. They will get bigger very soon, said Mrs. Connor. When the class came back from recess, there were three butterflies in the garden. All their wings were big and beautiful. When they were all big enough, the class let them go. This was even better than a superhero, said Michael. And that's the story of Butterfly Garden.